Hello YouTube and everybody out there. Um, I'm doing a quick video on the solar eclipse and this was around 14 days, two weeks ago. Meant to get to it earlier. And uh, this video is just gonna be on how this was a ritual and how they're not even hiding it or even on local news they're talking about we worship the sun, talking about worship of the sun, and talking about the eye in the sky, calling the sun the eye in the sky. And sun worship go it is very obviously deals with worship of Lucifer or Satan. And this goes back to the Egyptian times, the sun god Ra, uh, among other things. Uh, very easy to, to go back throughout history and many other cultures and equate, and equate sun worship with, uh, you know, sun gods. And, you know, I, I just found this interesting. Uh, the solar eclipse, there are a lot of people that understand the Bible talking about this being a, a harbinger to the end times. And there are several verses in the Bible that talk about the sun being darkened. Uh, one of them is in Isaiah. And, you know, I don't want to speculate on that. You know, I don't want to necessarily say that this is, you know, Bible prophecy playing out. I don't necessarily want to say that. I, I don't really know. Uh, but I do want to show a couple quick clips to show uh, how the media is portraying this and how, to me, they really turn this into an occult ritual. And so I'm just going to play you a quick clip here from the local, local news and just uh, listen carefully and notice if you hear anything. And I don't know if you caught what I did, but what was interesting there is the, the woman anchor said, you know, she said that people in the past have worshipped the sun. I mean, you know, that's not the greatest thing to say. You know, if you're a Christian uh, or someone that's not into the cult, I mean, it probably wouldn't be the top thing you'd want to talk about, but... What stood out to me is she said that people worship the sun, and she said we worship the sun. She didn't just simply say that people have worshipped the sun in the past and leave it at that. She said we worship the sun. Now, she didn't just, you know, proclaim it like on a mountain and make it really intense. It was subtle. You know, what the Bible says that the serpent operates through subtlety. So they're not going to just beat you with the head over. It's going to be subtle, so they're acting like it's no big deal. It's just mentioned lightly in, in casual conversation, so as you wouldn't even met, notice it. And this is so that the average person, the sheep out there, it goes to their subconscious. So their conscious mind doesn't notice it, but the subconscious gets it. And now I'm going to play a, one more clip for you here. Let's take a moment to pull this up. Here we go. Computers are slow sometimes. Let me make sure I get this at the beginning here.
All right, I'm just going to play this clip for you. And once again, just listen carefully if you can. And if you notice what I did, you heard eye in the sky. That's even much more blatant allusion to Lucifer than sun worship. Eye in the sky I mean like basically anyone, I mean anybody notices today, if you just look at the back of, a, of an American $1 bill and you see that pyramid and that little separated capstone at the top with the eye, I mean that... Very few people don't even notice that, that that's direct reference to Lucifer. And here you have this anchor talking about the eye in the sky and talking about how it's an overwhelming, powerful spiritual experience where, you know, you can just see through subtlety they're preparing the masses to accept a, a Luciferian system and to become conditioned to you know, believe in sun worship and believe in kind of these occult things. And they do it, it's very clever and subtle because like those those news anchors, they're, they're just kind of easygoing, homesy, charming people. They're not jagged, rough, intimidating, mean, menacing looking people. They're, they're wholesome, you know, down to earth people it would seem that you'd want to invite to your dinner table that you, you know, that, that you feel like you trust and they're mentioning it subtly. And, and I have no idea. The, those news anchors may have no idea what they're talking about. They may be completely clueless to what they're saying just reading the script. But it's coming down from the top. You know, this is coming from higher up the ladder, what they're told to say. But, you know, I want to know what you'll never hear during these telecasts and you never heard during the solar eclipse was given the glory to God. You'll never hear on a news telecast the glory given to God, the Father Yahweh, or to the Lord Jesus Christ. That's who created that son. You know, they're worshiping in the creation and not the creator. And the New Testament says that's an abomination to God. But it, it just, notice, you know, I just find it interesting. I just say, notice that for yourself, that you'll never, ever hear any news anchor really anywhere giving the glory to Yahweh or Jesus Christ. So just wanted to point this out. I, I thought this is pretty interesting. They're saying we worship the sun and talking about the eye and the sky and praising it. So I hope you found this useful and uh, all the glory and honor to God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless everybody. Take care.